Good morning guys, we are up and about in the camper, currently trying to put on a hundred layers. <laughs> We're layering up. Lauren's just pulled the long johns out the bottom of my jeans. We're heading out into the Lake District. So we're here for a few nights with the Cumbria Tourism Board. We're staying on Hillcroft Park for the first couple of nights and hopefully they've got a couple of bicycles for us. Like That's more like it! So we just come through a little town, a very little, little town called Pooley Bridge. Uh, we're heading now onto Air Force Waterfall. Yeah. So they reckon it's about, what, five, six miles? Six miles, I think. Here we go. Wow. We had to do a little stop off. What are you said about that view, Lo? <laughs> so this is uh, Oldswater Lake, and this is one of the most popular lakes in the whole of the Lake District. I don't think we're quite going to make it around the whole thing today, though. That is some lake. It's beautiful. We just come to an emergency stop because we've seen our first Highland cows. <laughs> <laughs> How touristy are we right now? Oh, I love them. <laughs> they are beautiful. They're the best cows. Look at them. They are cool. Ready to hit the road? I'm ready. Let's get back on the bicycle. Get a photo now. Yeah. Two point one more miles to go. Tell you what, the weather ain't great, but the views are Insane. summing out. <laughs> We made it. Look at the hairstyles on them. Nice. You, you are a cool dude. Glad we had them e-bikes though. Lauren spotted the tea room, so we're getting a bit of pre-walk energy in us. Uh, yes, please. I went for the cheese, scone. What did you get? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate with oat milk. Mm. Are you regretting it though? Do you want a bit of this scone? Well, I'm having half of it, mate. <laughs> if I spread, does it mean that I get half? I'm not spreading like that, you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna run away with it. Yeah, whack it on there. You only live once, don't you? Know, heart got, attack. Got to get up to that waterfall, yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. It's been a while since we've seen a waterfall. Cheers. Quick stop for some photos under the tree. Well, I think we made it. <laughs> Jump off that side though, wouldn't you? You're free off the Would you jump off that? I'll jump off that rock in there. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. You daredevil. You daredevil. I think we're going to head down there and try and get to the viewpoint looking up. That's more like it. Check that out. So we made it to Aero Force Waterfall. <laughs> Big tick on the Lake District bucket list. If that were Bali, I reckon I'd be stripping off and jumping in, but Lake District mid-October. Quick photo for Insta. <laughs> Alright, time to head back to base. Got three photos today. Lauren's smashing the photos. Quick stop off because we're in a rush to get the bikes back, but Lauren's lining up a photo on the side of the road because epic backdrop. So we're about five minutes from home. <laughs> a little helmet head behind me. <laughs> We've just stopped off on the bikes because look at this view, guys. Smile, helmet head. <laughs> High five, that was a good one. <laughs> Quick stop off in Pooley Bridge. Lovely little village. Because we've got to grab a bit of salad and tomato for dinner tonight. Mm. Laura might take a helmet off, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Solid day. I'm so hungry. Good adventure, but yeah, I think we need some food. What's for, what's for dinner? We're gonna do burritos. Burritos it is. Dora the Explorer up there. Go on, master. <laughs> Get it in you. All right, Lauren's cracking straight on with the food, and I'm gonna pack the stuff away and pull out the table for its first use. How's this for a date night setup? Well done, Loza. Got the burritos on the go. Van looking cosy. Who says van life can't be romantic? Look at that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. PJs are on. Oh. <laughs> Tell me what, I could be a maid. Bed's out. 
no one's fixed the bed up for us. Not too much camper van stuff because we've got a few days exploring the lake district, but we'll include it where we can. Last one before bed though, on the late night hustle, the biscuits are out, both laptops are on, and no one's making us hot chocolates. Come on. Signing out with the hot chockey. Yeah, boy. Pick this up in the morning. All right, guys, it's time to say goodbye to our little campsite. Because we are heading over to Lothar Castle for the day, and then tonight we are staying in Keswick in a hex pod. And I'm going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I touched down Lothar, skipped the pay and display car park, found a little shady one at the top of the hill. Lauren's off, look, suited and booted. Let's go find this castle. <laughs> go on, up after you. <laughs> well, we dodged the bull. And I think we found the castle. Definitely seen worse housing estates. Nah, let's buy it. I think we'll stick with the little narrow boat. Oh, go on, my son. <laughs> Quick photo in front of the entrance. Let's see what this is all about. You never guess what, guys. We found a yellow room. It's got elves on the walls with crowns on them. I think it's my room. I'm pretty sure it's elf and loafer. But we'll let Lauren have this one. <laughs> so we've made it out into the gardens. I'm not usually into castles and things like this, but that is something else. Lauren's found flowers. Could be a long day. <laughs> Here she goes again. Oh, the Polaroid's out now, guys. <laughs> well, Lothar Castle, big. Bucket list tick. Kurt's in the lady. <laughs> Building, impressive. Gardens. Next level. <laughs> Time to go find this hex pod. Quick stop in Penrith to grab some food for the night. Look at the buildings. Even the Sainsbury's is a bit flash up here. All right, let's get to Keswick. Got your packed lunch. Okay, touchdown at Castle Rig Hall, and we're transferring from camper to here. We're actually staying in one of those hex pods tonight, and look at the view. So welcome to our little hex pod. This is our home for the next couple of nights in Keswick. And we're staying in number one, which is conveniently called Oldswater, which is where we just come from. Now let's take you for a look inside check this out it's all open planning big old balcony we'll come back to that with the views in a minute lounge area tv dining area kitchen shower room literally everything you need in one little hexagon go on in low show us outside onto the balcony ah. i mean that is not a bad view is it can't wait to wake up here in the morning already. So we're just gonna chill here for this evening, have a little cook up, probably get up and go hiking or do something tomorrow, but tonight we're just gonna chill in our little hex again. Um, have you seen this? No. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> Complimentary milk tray. It's really modern inside and... Is it? Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's warm. Laura's just giving her nan an update. Yeah, I think nice and warm. Yeah, lovely and warm, yeah. Come on then, Loza, what's cooking tonight? Sausage and sweet that. <laughs> One of Lauren's absolute favourites. In fact, if you're new to the vlog, anything with gravy, Lauren loves a gravy dinner. I should have been a northerner, really. Yeah, we're up north. Northern boys love gravy. So now it's my job to try and figure out how the oven works. All right, joggers are on. Cozy night. Bit of bangs and mash. Go on, Lauren, you can get into it. It's all gone downhill fast. I'm drunk. <laughs> you better liven up, we've got catchphrase at seven o'clock. Here we go, you know we love a little bit of competition when catchphrase is on. So we're gonna wind down here. Lauren's recording the scores on her phone. I've also got this little pamphlet to look through to find us a walk or a hike for tomorrow. So, rear view mirror. It certainly is. Oh, that was so easy. It's getting serious, guys, the snacks are out. Lauren's, Lauren's upset, she can't choose what to have to eat. She's losing at catchphrase. Noodles, come on, let's have some noodles. Well, they lasted long. 
We got a predicament, guys. Which one? Coke or Dr Pepper? <laughs> it's gonna be hard to record this last bit of the vlog. Bro, shrimp on the Barbie, mate. I'm gonna turn this off before it gets embarrassing. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the morning. Morning guys, not long woke up, but before we start anything today, we're gonna try and create some magic with that backdrop. So I'm on breakfast duty this morning. We've got a big feed for a big day coming up. And Charlie is busy editing the video that we just took with this beautiful view outside. Well done, Loza. We're gonna need this today. Because we are off on a hike up Walla Crag. Lauren's just putting some wraps together for a little pack up. And they reckon it takes about an hour and a half up, hour and a half down, so we'll see how we go. So apparently I got that super wrong. We've been walking for about 10 minutes and we just saw a signpost that said Walla Crag, one mile. So, it's not as long as we thought. Fingers crossed, but that one mile is like this. So far, so good? Yep, like it already. <laughs> so we're pretty high now, we're up in the clouds, and Lauren's taking photos of the sheep. Oh my god. <laughs> Better carry on with the walk. We've hit the marshland, guys. <laughs> Definitely got some wet socks. Go on, as I sprint it. Oh, wet, wet. I think we made it, guys. Good effort. What do you reckon? Oh, nearly fell off the cliff. <laughs> Lose my girlfriend, dear. Unbelievable. I know I've said that quite a lot, but it's quite unbelievable. It's unbelievable. We made it to the top of Wallach Rag. I think that's another big tick on the Lake District bucket list. You know, if there's one place we've got to take photos in the Lake District, it's here. Perfect place for a snack. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> that was a bit hard, wasn't it? Oi. Wind picked up a little, it is getting chilly. The woolly hats are out. That is beautiful. I think we can definitely say we visited the Lake District. Time to head back to base camp. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible, that wet bit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've just finished the hike and the guys are giving us a free coffee and a cake in the gallery. Result. And now Lauren wants a little bauble for the Christmas tree. It's a camera. Mm. This brownie is naughty. <laughs> oh. mm. Go on! <laughs> this little chicken on a farm. Quite as good cake though. Not much left of it. I got a bit of lemon drizzle and Lauren polished off a chocolate brownie. Alright, time for a quick shower. So we're gonna chill out for the evening. I think we're having a bit of soup, is it, Lol? Bit of hoops. Bit of hoop. And if you can hear it in the background, we've gone from catchphrase to family fortunes. So we'll pick this up tomorrow for our final day in the Lake District. Oh yeah! Good morning, guys. It's time to say goodbye to this incredible view. And thanks so much to the guys at Castlewick Hall. This has been amazing. Hexpod success. And I think we're gonna head down into the town of Keswick and see what happens on our last day in the Lake District. <laughs> Touchdown Keswick. Come to the pan display machines, they're only out of order. Two hours free parking. Two for two on the free parking so far. All right, let's see what little Keswick's all about. Come on then, anyway. <laughs> Lovely little town so far, very old school, a lot of traditional English buildings. Lauren's just hopped in the charity shop. She absolutely loves a charity shop, so I'm just hanging outside because they've got limited people in the store at one time. What you got? I've got a lovely scarf. Yeah. £3.50. Yeah. And then I've got this cardigan. And how much was that? This was £5.50. £8.50? Yep. Put it on my card, I'll buy you that one, babe. <laughs> Here we go, what you found? <laughs> this one's for everybody that tuned into the camper van vlogs. <laughs> Could have been more true. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have another problem. 
resist temptation because we're actually booked onto the same campsite that we were on the other night near yeah. Pooley Bridge. Bridge. So I think we're going to hold out, get set up on Hillcroft Park and then head down into town for a bit of dinner. Those chips smell so good. <laughs> what even is that? It's a game. Marmite puzzle. Wow, I'm for, getting it. I feel like we have to buy it. <laughs> the Marmite puzzle was 18 quid. What would we give up? I've <laughs> we'll got real Marmite at home. We'll have a look on eBay when we get home. <laughs> what you found? Magnet. For the van? Yeah. That's the chosen one. We almost left the Lake District without getting a little souvenir for the camper, so... It's perfect. And it says Oldswater. Are you going to buy me that? <laughs> Your treat. Come on. Oh, go on then. While Lauren buys the magnet. I'm going to grab us some chips for the road. What have you got? I caved. I caved, didn't I? Oh, it smells so good. See? You're going to want some. Time to get back to the campsite. Home sweet home. And we're back. Back to Hillcroft. Whoa, 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 what are you up to? See ya. <laughs> Lauren wants to sort the van out and back it in, which is left with the doors open. That's pretty handy, isn't it? <laughs> Lauren set herself some task here. Can you see what you're doing on there? Yeah. <laughs> Tripod on table. This one should be interesting. The time's come to get an on the roof van pick. Don't split your trousers, will you? If he falls, we'll get a good slow mo. <laughs> there he goes! King of the castle! Alright, electricity's hooked up. Let's have our last evening in Pooley Bridge. Okay, so since arriving in the Lake District, we've had a lot of messages with people recommending that we get some Kendall mint cake. I don't think we're going to make it down to Kendall on this trip, but we found a bit to give it a go. So we've hit the one, two, three shops in Pooley Bridge. <laughs> it's literally such a small, I don't know if you can even call it a village. Lauren's, Lauren's picking up the Kendall cake. Can I try a bit of this now? Mint cake reaction. <laughs> Not a good one by the looks of it. <laughs> Not a, I thought it was more, I thought it'd be cake, chocolate cake. Right, no good. It's like mint. <laughs> Glad we didn't drive all the way to Kendall for that then. <laughs> I think it's just because I didn't expect that. Okay. And we were gonna stop off at like a little pub and have a little pub dinner for our final night. But now we're thinking we'd rather just head back to the camper, get cozy and cook some pasta. <laughs> That's more like it. That's mm. our kind of dinner, isn't it? I really fancied pasta. Alright guys, big sign outs from the back of the van. Solid, solid four days in the Lake District. I've had so much fun filming this vlog, so if you've made it all the way till the end, make sure to let us know in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed making it. Have you got a highlight of the trip in the Lake District? Probably that Kendall cake for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just no offence Kendall lovers, but I didn't like that cake, uh, mint, whatever it was. The highlight of my trip, the viewpoint, that was good. Great first trip in the camper van. Yeah, survived, didn't die, didn't freeze. No, so. it's actually really warm. I really underestimated how cosy it would be in here. Little waterfall, little castle, little hike. Yeah, it's been a pretty solid effort. So much more to explore. We've only done this little area. Thanks to Cumbria Tourism for supporting the trip and for getting us around, basically. We're gonna sign out. We are up early tomorrow at 8am where we head down to North Yorkshire yep. for our next episode of the Unusual Hotel series, which we're really excited about. Any final words? What else? How, how do we sign this one out? Um, peace out, Lake District. It's been uh, good knowing you. <laughs> And uh, we'll see you next year. No, we'll see you in a bit in December. Oh, true. We're actually coming back up in December. December for episode four of the Unusual Hotel. So I'd say it's my new favourite place in the UK. Unbelievable. Can understand the hype around the Lake District now. Really And uh, Cumbria, thanks for having us. Peace.